Hello and welcome to the Comlex Instant Review Podcast. Thank you for listening. Um, let's talk about a cardiothoracic surgery question. Generally accepted indications that a lung carcinoma is incurable by surgery include which of the following? Is it bloody pleural effusion, new onset Horner syndrome, chest wall extension, or superior vena cava syndrome, or multiple answer choices from the ones just listed? So again, the question is asking, um, the accepted indications that a lung carcinoma is incurable include? The answer here is going to be bloody pleural effusions, new onset Horner syndrome, and chest wall extension, not superior vena cava syndrome. And let's review why. Remember that lung cancer that has extended beyond either the lung parenchyma or the tracheobronchial tree, that's generally held to indicate surgical incurability. Okay. And indications of this are distant metastasis, uh, such as a bloody pleural effusion, meiosis, anhydrosis, ptosis, also known as Horner's syndrome, indicating that the involvement is at the cervical sympathetic trunk by extension out of the lung apex. Also, vocal cord paralysis, indicating involvement of the recurrent laryngeal nerves in the mediastinum, or phrenic nerve involvement suggested by elevation of a hemidiaphragm. And attempts have been made to resect the superior vena cava uh, and block with tumors uh, with a 30% five-year survival in a selected group of patients. But in general, you know, involvement of the superior vena cava usually indicates unresectability. All right. And so the answer here is going to be bloody pleural fusions, new onset Horner syndrome, and chest wall extension. And all these are generally accepted indications that a lung carcinoma is incurable. Thank you for listening and good luck in your complex board preparation.